Alright, good evening and welcome. Test bed guitars. It's really raining out there. Okay, um, I know it's not plugged in or whatever. What makes a good test bed guitar? Should this guitar be a test bed guitar? What am I talking about? Let's say you want to experiment with a whole bunch of pickups. What would be a better choice for a test bed guitar? My and why is, is more the question. Would it be the SG3 or this? Okay, well, here's there's two schools of thought in this. Um, you're going to replace pickups because the pickups you have don't quite have the grunt or the clarity you want. Could be any guitar. Uh, the pickups sound great, they got all everything like that, but it's not the style you want for the music you're playing. Could be any guitar. Right. Now that said, it's not my guitars because I, I like both of them. Uh, but this guitar here, I mean, you wouldn't be replacing these pickups because they didn't have enough output. I got two classic 57s and a 57 plus in there. And in fact, I'm really at a loss of what I want to do with this guitar over the long run. I've had this guitar over 10 years. I bought it in 2006. And it's a Gibson SG3. I absolutely love it. This could be an awesome, awesome, awesome metalhead guitar. But it could also, if you were to switch it out to, for P94s, be like a, like a Super Strat. What do you do with it? You know what I mean? You can go either way with this guitar. Like, it, it, it's just, what do you do with it? You know, like, um, and the way I've got it wired up, I've got a push-pull pot on it. So I'll basically, that's to turn off or turn on or turn off the, the, the center pickup. Three-way toggle. My tone is bypassed, uh, and I don't. The volume is also bypassed. So it's basically a push pull pot and a toggle and an output jack and three walls of sound there. Uh, so I could do anything with this guitar if I wanted to change the sound. Um, I, I don't really want to, but I've also got my SG61 reissue with the classic 57s in it, and that guitar. I really I bought that guitar for everything it has. There's really. It is, it's my, one of my dream guitars, right? And uh, it's, I just love it. You know, I love the combination of everything on that guitar. I would never change anything on that guitar. But what about this guitar? Well, this guitar has got the cheap Jackson pickups. They're not bad. I've lowered them down to kind of mellow them out a bit, brighten them up. Uh, the reason why I did that, if you raise your pickups, okay, you can raise them up, you'll get more a darker sound and more aggressive bite out of your guitar. Problem is, if you're playing through a tube amp like this, is, well, the clean channel becomes the other distorted channel because you get too much output. So these pickups don't have a lot of really high output. They don't have hardly any dynamic to them. They're, they're bottom end pickups, right? But they're not bad. They're, they're clear enough. Uh, they're not really well balanced, uh, meaning that, you know, your E string here is really loud and dark and heavy, and then this one sounds kind of thin. You know, you say, yeah, but they're two different strings. That shouldn't matter. On this guitar, this E and that E come through the amp, same volume, you know, whatever, different, you know, they're different strings, sure, but the, 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 the pickups are really, really set up well for it. The spacing's perfect and everything like that. These, the spacing is good. It's just the pickups are not, you know, each each pole doesn't pick up quite as much as I would like. Some, it's a little more, like the, the G is like really out front and then the B is okay, but the E is a little bit on the weak side. It's not bad. You have to really listen to hear it, but once you hear it, then it's like, okay, I need new pickups. So will this get the job done? Yes. Can you hear everything I'm doing uh, when I play? Yes. Uh, does it sound stellar? I wish it did. Uh, does this link sound stellar? All the time. <laughs> uh, I've lowered these pickups down to mellow it out so I don't get so much tube breakup on that. But on the SG, I raised them up a bit. Uh, the 61, I raised them up a bit to get a little more output, right? So that's my hot rod SG where even on the clean channel, it's still barking at you. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just really power. You know, that's what I got that guitar set up for. Even though that guitar is like, best of all worlds where you can get a really great clean tone out of it and a really great you know punchy tone out of it uh where this it's trade-off uh with these pickups if i had better pickups in here like uh like i had my hammer diablo years ago th that would have been you know be better but the problem is is this is a basswood body 
no problem in the sense of what it's, you know, construction wise, but tone wise, all I would be doing with better pickups is amplifying a guitar that's already kind of void of good quality tone. I mean, it's not horrible sounding. I mean, this is definitely a good sounding guitar, you know, but it's not great. Where something like this is, you know, really rich and everything like that. So when you put better, clearer pickups in it or more uh, higher output or whatever, you're amplifying an already really good sounding sustaining guitar, you know, with that. Where this is. You can tell it doesn't have that doesn't have that liveliness to sustain and the ring and all that 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 has right so a guitar like this worthwhile putting pickups in a guitar like this eh, not so much um i would say this that uh, rule of thought like better pickups are better pickups but better pickups will just amplify what you have right so if you have a, a guitar that doesn't really have great tone but you just want a little more punch and volume Yes, but are you going to get your money's worth? You're probably better off for what you're going to pay for good pickups anyway is either A, out of the box, buy a better guitar, or B, um, you know, like if you're really going, like say you want to do death metal, well, okay, you want a Samer Duncan Invader in there, okay, or a Gibson 500T, something like that, as long as the spacing lines up, you're okay. Uh, or what I used to have was with the uh, Screaming Demon or the Trembacher. I can't remember which one I had in my Hammer Diablo. Okay, it'll give me more punch, more bite, and everything like that, but it's not really going to change the sound of the guitar. The guitar is going to sound whatever it's going to sound like. So to, you know, pay 200 to 400 bucks uh, worth of pickups, you know, whether you're doing one pickup or two, and chances are if you're one of those guys like me, I mainly, when I'm rocking out, play in this pickup. In the, in the bridge pickup almost all the time but i do like to use the neck pickup for certain things i like to use both pickups whenever i'm playing clean so if you get a really high output pickup here and you've got a dud pickup here it, it, the out of phase out of phase pickups can sound kind of cool but they can also sound really bad too uh sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't uh but what i would say is that if you've got a cheap guitar you know you get i see this all over youtube it's some 15-year-old kid, he just bought the $400 guitar, and he's like, ah, it doesn't quite have what I what I want at it. And I'm not saying a $400 guitar, you can't get a good guitar for $400. This thing, this thing is awesome. Can you play professional with this? If you handed this to Zach Wilde or Yngwie Malmsteen, they would have no problem getting some pretty cool sounds out of it. Would it be their choice of guitar? No, they're going to go to the, the really tone-rich guitars. So this is not, it's just not a tone-rich guitar, that's it. Uh, so... Yes, it's good enough for those. You playability wise, the action on this thing, if you can't play if you can't get it out of you, don't have it in you. Uh, but what I would say is that when I see these younger guys, they think they're gonna go out and buy another $150 to $200 pickup or some used pickups and swap them out, and it's gonna magically change their guitar into something that's not. And that it's like, well, I'm gonna try this other pickup now. I'm gonna try, but the problem isn't the pickups. You're just amplifying a guitar that doesn't sound that much better anyway the biggest complaint i have about this guitar is not even the pickups no 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 no. my biggest plaint is this guitar it the harmonics on it are just dead it's uh like it's really hard to get harmonics out of it now i know the scale makes something to do with that too but most of it is just that the the uh, the, the cheaper floyd on it doesn't doesn't quite have the sustain i want where this guitar, I mean, pick a spot on the neck. That's harmonics. <laughs> but there's a big price difference. Now, mind you, that's one of the advantages of a fixed bridge is tone, right? Uh, but uh, hopefully that, that the camera picked up the difference there. That's the difference between an expensive guitar and a cheap guitar. Is I remember my Hammer Diablo. Again, whatever Hammer did with the pickups... The problem with the hammer guitars at the time wasn't a problem. The It was more of the mystery of the hammer guitar. Were you going to get... Uh, I'm just checking how much time I got here. Let me wrap this up. What were you going to get in there? Uh, I think I had a JB in the neck and a Trembacher in... Or a Screaming Demon in the, in the bridge. Whatever it was, it didn't matter. That guitar and the Floyd on it was really well well finessed and that guitar was under a thousand bucks and it was if you ever get a chance to play an old hammer diablo that's not worn out it will change your life it was a great guitar it was harmonics like that uh long scale like this uh, 25 and a quarter or whatever but 
it was an it was an upper end guitar, right? This one is an intermediate guitar. It's it's as good, but it's you know it it you know it's playable. But you don't get that's the little little nuances like that that you miss. So the reason why you're getting all that extra harmonics and stuff like that. Now I'm not dissing this guitar. You could still do harmonics on it, but you got to work harder for it. Whereas this, it's a lot more. It flows a lot easier. Uh, my other guitar is my old Ibanez as I got stolen on me. Same thing. It worked really easy with those guitars. But the thing is, if I put in a new pickup on this, it's not going to fix my harmonic problem, is it? No. The better guitar will. So what I would su suggest is keep your cheap guitar for your jam night guitar, your gigging guitar, you know, the beat-up guitar. You know what I mean? Um, and invest in a better guitar. Now, I know a lot of people are broke, so always buy the best you can afford to begin with if you know you're going to stick with it. Like the, the first guitar, I say buy a cheap guitar because you might not stick with it. But don't buy something so cheap that it's not playable. But something that's, you know, okay, you can get some sound out of it, you can play it, you'll be good. Um, but what I recommend is for your second guitar or your whatever is to maybe hold out rather than just rushing out and buying three uh, cheap guitars, buy one good one. And you probably won't need to change the pickups. And then if you're going to change the pickups, just because you're going for a different dynamic and different sound. All right. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Have a great day. Eh?